In this video, we will see how to generate tokens in the backend when users either register or log in. As I mentioned in the previous video, we will be using the JSON Web Token package. So in the terminal, navigate to the server folder and then run the command npm install json web token dash dash save. Once the package is installed, open the file api.js which is present in the server folder. In api.js, first require the package. So const jot is equal to require jot. Next, let's generate a token in the register API. So in the register API, after saving the user successfully, first, what we have to do is create the payload. Now the payload is an object and will contain the registered user ID. So let payload is equal to an object and by convention, the key is called subject and then the value will be the registered user object ID. Registered user dot underscore ID. Now that we have the payload, let's sign a token and generate it. Let token is equal to dot dot sign. And then the first argument is the payload. And then the second argument is a secret key. Now the secret key can be anything. I'm just going to have the secret key as a string secret key. So now we have the JSON web token stored in this token variable. The last step is to send this token as an object instead of the registered user we've been sending so far. So object and then token using ES6 syntax. Res.status.send token as an object. All right, the register API now responds with the token instead of the registered user details. Let's add similar code in the login API. So when valid credentials are entered, first let's create the payload. Let payload is equal to an object. The key is subject. The value is going to be user dot underscore ID. And then let token is equal to jot dot sign the first argument is the payload and then the second argument is the secret key. And finally, instead of sending the response of user details, let's send an object containing the token. And that's pretty much all the code required to generate a JSON web token. And you know what? This has to be JSON web token and not JOT. JSON web token is the name of the package. All right, now let's restart the server and test the two APIs. So open the terminal, run the command node server, go back to the browser, in the register component, enter the details. I'm gonna go with y at y.com, and then the password is y, and I'm gonna click on register. And you can see that in the console, we have an object that contains the token. The key is the string token, and then the value is the JSON web token. And if you can observe closely, we have a dot over here, and then again, a dot over here. So we have three parts separated by dots, so it's a valid JSON web token. Similarly, we can also test login. So navigate to the login component, enter the details. I'm gonna go with y at y.com, and then the password is y again. Click on login, and you can see that the exact same token is generated from the server. So token with three parts separated by two dots. All right, now that we are able to generate a token in the backend and send it across to the front end, in the next video, let's see how to store these tokens in the browser's local storage.